Hey, I'm John Birdie, and I'm here to help you pass the CISSP exam by teaching you how to correctly read and understand CISSP questions and pick the best answer. Rob Witcher and I started our company, Destination Certification, to help folks just like you, to help you achieve your very valuable security certifications. This is the next video in our brand new series on questions and strategies. This series is focused on how to correctly read, review, and parse CISSP exam questions properly to simplify and give you the best opportunity to pick the correct answer. Here's today's question. Let's take a look. In the Bellapagula security model for access control, the star property would prohibit the best approach to answering CISSP questions correctly. And I've been teaching this method in my classes for over 20 years, very successfully, is to first of all, hide the answers, just like we've done here, and make yourself read the question at least three times. The reason you wanna read the question numerous times is to ensure that you fully understand what the question is asking you. As busy professionals, we have programmed ourselves to do things very quickly so that we can move on to the next item on our list. If this is the way we approach the CISSP exam, it's a recipe for disaster. Slowing down and making ourselves read the question multiple times will prevent our minds from assuming what the question is asking us even before we get to the end of it. I also mentioned that you should hide the answers. The reason for this and the reason you want to do this is to prevent yourself from being influenced and poisoned by the wrong answers before you fully understand what the question is asking you. In each question, there are three wrong answers. And based on our experience, our skill sets, our knowledge, we may be predisposed to some of the incorrect answers and therefore have a tendency to justify the wrong answers in our minds. The only way to prevent this is to hide the answers first and then understand the question and pick out the correct key words that exist in every single question before we let ourselves view the answers. Think of the key words as the antidote to being poisoned by the wrong answers. So if we look at the wording of this question again, we can surmise that the major key words here are star property and prohibit. Those are the key words. To know the answer to this question, we need to understand the Bella Padula model. Let's take a look. The Bella Padula model is considered to be a lattice-based model. What that means is that it's a layer-based model, all right? So it requires layers of, in this case, confidentiality. The Bella Padula model is a model that addresses only confidentiality. It's a confidentiality-only model. And because it's a layer-based or lattice-based model, we have layers of, in this case, confidentiality. So let's use an example here where we have three levels or layers of confidentiality, high, medium, and low. And let's say we have been placed in the medium layer, all right? So from a read perspective, the Bella Padula model says that if we are in the medium layer and we have read capabilities, we should be able to read anything at our layer but also below, because the layer below has less sensitive, less valuable information. Therefore, it's okay for us to read less sensitive information. That's why the first rule of the Bella Padula model is you can read at your layer or down. You cannot read up because if you would allow people to read up, you'd be allowing them to read more sensitive, more confidential information, which obviously would break confidentiality rules, all right? Now this rule, the ability to be able to read, 
is referred to in the Bella Padula model as the simple security property, and it addresses only the ability to be able to read. So now we know that we can read at our layer or below. We cannot allow reading up, which makes sense from a confidentiality perspective. The second rule of Bella Padula addresses the ability to write. And as you can see here, it's referred to as the star property. The star property means the ability to write. Now remember, this model only addresses confidentiality. And so when we implement this model in any architecture, like a database environment, for example, if you give people the ability to be able to write, we have to enforce the star property because it deals with the ability to be able to write. So if we are in the medium layer, as we said before, if you have write capabilities, you can write at your layer, but you can also write up. And here's the logic behind that. If we are in the medium layer, we have available to us medium layer knowledge. And if we allowed people to take that medium layer knowledge and write it down, then we'd be, we'd be disclosing confidential information from the medium layer to a lower layer. That's why we don't allow writing down because we'd be taking medium layer information and writing it down to a lower layer, which therefore would be disclosing confidential information to those people that are at that layer. Writing up, however, is okay. And here's why. Those people above us that are in the high layer can already know what's in our layer because you can always read down. So if they are up there, they can already read any information that's in the medium layer. Therefore, it's okay for us to take medium layer information and write it up. That would not disclose any confidential information to those people. They already know what's in our layer. So writing up is allowed, but writing down is not. And that's the second rule of Bella Padula. And as you can see here, just to remind you, it is referred to as the star property of the Bella Padula confidentiality lattice based or layer based model. Now, the third rule is combining the first two rules together. What if you have the ability to read and write? What should we enforce? Well, if you look at that the simple security property only allows us to read down and the star property only allows us to write up. If you put those two things together, because that's what the strong star property is all about, then we can only do things at our own layer, nothing higher, nothing lower. And that's what the strong star property of the Bella Padula model basically says you can only do things at your own layer if you can read and write at the same time. Now, the significance of the Bell Lapadula model is actually uh, really important in today's environments. A lot of people look at these models and they say things like, why do we need to understand these models, especially from a CISSP perspective? Well, the answer to that is that these models, especially this one, is implemented everywhere, right? We just don't recognize it as being the Bella Padula confidentiality model. But because this is a model, it needs to be implemented. And implementations of the Bella Padula confidentiality model are everywhere. Remember, this is a lattice-based or layer-based model. Most companies have, for example, a data classification system that really implements the layers that this requires. So for example, if we use the traditional government and military example of top secret, secret, confidential, those are classification levels that really address confidentiality. We used high, medium, and low as an example, but we could have easily just used top secret, secret, and confidential as examples. And so the way that you implement this 
is by having data classification systems in place and enforcing subject to object type of relationships through access control, right? So if you have data classification system in your organization and you enforce access control rules through access control, this is really an implementation of the Bella Padula confidentiality model. It is everywhere. And if you implement it properly through data classification and access control, then you can address the requirements of confidentiality anywhere in your organization. So let's go back to our question, which was in the Bell Padula security model for access control, the star property would prohibit. We now know that the star property addresses the ability to be able to write. So if we look at the answers that have been provided in the question, answer A says reading upward, writing downward, writing upward, and reading downward. The key words were, again, star property and prohibit. So we know that the star property addresses the ability to write. And so if you remember what we just looked at, in order to be able to write and enforce confidentiality, we can write up, not down. So if this asks prohibit, then the answer here is obviously going to be B, because the star property only allows us to write up, and therefore it would prohibit the ability to write downward, and that is the correct answer to this question. If you're watching this video, you're more than likely preparing for the CISSP exam. My business partner in crime, Rob Witcher and myself and our entire team have been helping people just like you prepare to confidently pass the CISSP exam for over 20 years. We love guiding folks just like you to become better security professionals and achieve the coveted and well-respected and the gold standard in security certifications called the CISSP. We've trained literally thousands of folks at our major corporate clients, and we're now opening up our training up to everyone. We offer live online training complete with our entire system of components to companies wanting entire teams to be certified in comprehensive, intensive, week-long bootcamp style training, as well as offering a self-paced masterclass system with the same amazing components, including a mentorship program that you'll find nowhere else. If you're interested in finding out more about our offerings, including our CISSP and CCSP live online training, and also our self-paced masterclass, then please check us out here at destinationcisp.com. If you found this video helpful, you can hit the thumbs up button and we would really appreciate that. And if you want to be notified when we release additional videos in this question and strategy series, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications. Thanks very much for watching and all the best in your studies and good luck.